Yo guys, welcome back to another Wizard World walkthrough, and today we're going to be, uh, we're going to start Grizzleheim. We're going to do Grizzleheim before we do Dragon Spire, just because I want to get up to Winter Tusk, because then after I do Dragon Spire, I'm going to want to go straight into Winter Tusk, so. And if that was the case, then I would have to go back and do the easy parts of Grizzleheim first, which would kind of be annoying. So, we're going to start ahead and, and go into Grizzleheim. Your arrival is well-timed. <clears throat> I must ask for your assistance once more. As you know, there are many worlds in the spiral. Wizard City is one, and you likely know of others. One of these worlds is Grizzleheim, a cold and wintry place peopled with fierce warriors. The Grizzleheim World Tree was once linked to the rest of the spiral, but the contact was lost. We thought it was destroyed. Bartleby now informs me that the portal to Grizzleheim is now active and travel there as possible. Oh, fortuitous news indeed. We have great need of friends in this dark time. Go to Grizzleheim and make allies of the fierce warriors dwelling there. You should speak to their king. Go seek... Protection. No, no, we're not they doing that. Odd relationship no. Nope. He may be willing to part with some <laughs> advice on how to stop him. No, we will not be doing that. Sorry. All right, let's go... Into Grizzleheim. Grizzleheim is one of those worlds where it's more on the lines of you get no XP, basically. I mean, you get XP, but very little, so. Looks pretty nice, too, in there, so. But yeah, it's a world where um, very uh, heavy on getting a lot of gold and gear. People do a lot of their farming here, especially in Winter Tusk, in Vesterland, uh, Halfang, is a is a big source of that. So, ho there, Outlander! What brings you to Grizzleheim? You explain that you've been sent to speak with the King of Grizzleheim. You want to speak with our King? Not today, little wizard. Our King doesn't just speak with any young cub who asks. No offense intended. But only the most worthy of warriors can speak with the king of Grizzleheim. I'm Bjorn Ironclaws, a famous hero of my people. If you make a name for yourself, I will speak for you and see that you get to meet our king. No one here trusts an outsider. All great warriors of Grizzleheim have a band of allies to trust and rely on. If you want to see our king, you should become a member of my band. My men will show you our way, so you're no outsider. Go and speak to my sword brother Hagen Shieldbreaker in our camp by the river. Tell him I sent you. Okay, I'll do that in a second, but first I'm going to accept the Prospector Zeke quest uh, in Grizzleheim. And uh, the book quest, or in this case, the rune quest. What you doing in Grizzleheim? Eh, never you mind. Something important, I reckon. I was wondering if you could do old Zeke a favor, if it's not too much hassle. I like to look out for the little things. In Grizzleheim, I'm watching out for any lost yard birds. Could you keep your eyes open and see if you spot any yard birds around? There used to be a flock of about ten of them. Let me know when you're done. Um, now there's some interesting ones in here. Uh, what was that? Noise. I don't even know. Um, yeah, the one that's a little harder to get is Helgrin Warren, but, uh, we'll, we'll get it. It'll most likely be off camera, though. From your clothing and your manner, you hail from another world. Grizzleheim is an old world, ancient of days. And red in tooth and claw. Our history is carved into the stone of the world in the form of runes. The greatest rune stones offer magic power. Others teach our lore. If you would learn about Grizzleheim, seek out the rune stones. The runes carved upon them tell our greatest stories in the language of old. All right, so I'm gonna get the North Guard one, which is right here. So we'll grab that, and then uh, we'll make our way to. Savarstead Pass. Don't even know if I'm actually saying that right, but you know, whatever. Alright. So we gotta talk to Hagen Shieldbreaker. So we gotta prove ourselves to the uh, to the world of Grizzleheim. So let's go ahead and do that. 
This place is a lot easier than the ones we've been doing previously, like Mushu. So, um, because of that, if the screen would load, holy. Because of that, I really don't need all this junk in my deck. All I really need is this, basically, that's it. That's really all I need, so. What brings you to the camp of Bjorn Ironclaws? Bjorn sent you? He wants us to teach you our ways and see if you're worthy of joining our band? Fair enough. Let us start, then. If you wish to learn our ways and join this band, you must learn to be fearless at all times. Fear profits you nothing. Your destiny was woven long ago, and nothing you do can escape fate. It is best to meet challenges with courage in your heart and a blade in your hand. I do not know if you are cowardly or courageous. Only you know which. Go to our old burial ground and defeat three troubled warriors. Return them and tell me what was in your heart. Okay. So yeah, like, I'm probably not going to need anything on the lines of, like, stacking blades and stuff. It's just going to... Oh, come on. Bro, I specifically... Got a ring that gives me more power up chance for that route for that one reason so I could kill first turn And because I know these guys are super annoying like that too, so ay ay ay. All right, we will uh, use fire elf then Get rid of the two uh, fire shields Let's hope uh, they don't stack anymore on. I don't think they will, though. Because usually they only use one, so... Regardless. Okay. I don't know why, uh... It's being super slow right now. Alright. Not exactly the outcome I wanted, because I would rather have killed him first turn, but, you know, it's whatever. Very well. Let us, uh... I'll, I'll show you the change in my stat in a second. But, like, I'm just saying. Yeah, I should have got Power Pips first turn. I mean, I have a pretty good chance of it. It's over 50%, so... I just thought naturally I would... get them more often than not, but maybe that was just one specific time where I didn't... Anyways, uh, okay, so yeah, I changed my ring. Uh, I now have the Creasis Ring of Betrayal, which gives me 15% power pip chance, so now when I go to my stats, I have a 62% chance of getting a power pip, so... It's really good. We heard the troubled warrior's howls from here. Were you fearful? Or were you fierce? Both. Speak the truth, or I will know if you do not. Good then. That's what I like to hear. Stay courageous. Luck may save you sometimes, but only if your courage holds. A hero is nothing without his reputation. And a great part of that reputation comes from the deeds of his father. You're an outsider, though, and no one knows who your father was. So we must get a great hero to speak highly of you, as if you were his own child. Go back into the burial ground, to the mound of Ingvar Sharptooth. Convince him that you're a worthy heir to his reputation. All right. Fair enough. I'm sure I can convince him. Just not get caught in a battle, though. That would not be, uh, nice. Something I just walk into. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think it's a soul fight. I think you can teleport in here, but... It's not that hard of a fight anyway, so... It wouldn't really matter. What manner of being are you to confront me so openly? You would like me to speak well of you? That you can share in my reputation? I will not give my regard so lightly. Prove your worth in battle. Okay. Sure, man. Okay. 
me a solid guy. I don't really mind, so. All right. <clears throat> now, as long as this fool minion over there doesn't do anything stupid, I should be okay. Oh, my God. So annoying, dude. I forgot about these guys and how annoying they are. Ugh. Whatever. Oh my god, I didn't even kill either of them. Very well. I can kill the boss. I'll just wait till Fire Elf to kill the other guy. It's whatever. Two times now, these troubled warriors have gotten under my skin, man. Jeez. They're pretty annoying, I'll be honest. And I got the low end of the stick there, man. With the meteor strike? That's ridiculous. Anyways. Regardless, it's done. Get out of here. Misa just went so quiet for a second. Okay. I'm impressed, young cub. You've proven you've got metal. You faced me without fear and defeated me with great skill. You can tell any who ask that I am as proud of you as if you were my own child. All right, spiritual father. <laughs> I guess he is. Well, they need to trust me, so I have to give them a reason to, so. If this is what I gotta do, this is what I gotta do. Ain't no other way around it. Plus, uh, the reason I also want to do Grizzleheim is because eventually we're gonna have uh, fire spells that I need to come here for, so. And pet spell and pet spells. Pet and pets. Pet quests. So, did you win words of praise from Ingvar Sharptooth? Excellent. Are you certain you aren't from here? You are taking to our ways as if born to them. Now, it is one thing to defeat spirits, but it is what a hero does among the living that echoes through eternity. Not far from here is a camp of split-hoof barbarians. When they grow daring enough, they harass and steal from the honest folk of Grizzleheim. Go there and give those split-hoof barbarians a lesson in manners. That should earn you the favor of the townsfolk and help your heroic reputation. Defeating one of them should be enough to show them their troublesome ways are at an end. Honestly, the good thing uh, about this is uh, they are fire, but since they're such low level or rank, they don't have much uh, resist, so I could just hit them through whatever. Which is good. So. I'm going to put up just one blade. Just to make sure. Just so I'm not being a fool about the resist thing. Because I could be. It's always possible. So throw on one blade just to be safe. And then should be fine from there. Fire kit. <laughs> Haven't seen that spell in a while. Alright. Look at those power pips. So beautiful. Alright. Let's get these guys out of my face. Yep. They basically have no resist. Alright. Let's go back to Hagen. Like I said, Grizzleheim, I'm probably going to steamroll through it, but I have to do it anyways. To be honest, I should have done it at, like right after Marleybone, but I did I wasn't even thinking about it. I'm sure that one will think twice before he troubles the town again. You're well on your way to becoming a hero. We've been ordered by Bjorn to stay in this camp, but there's something you can do for us. Bjorn told us he was sending Einar Thunderhammer, a blacksmith, to our camp to tend our weapons and armor. He's late. Probably captured by the barbarians. Why not stroll over to the split hook camp and see if you can find him? If he's locked up, you'll have to find a key to free him. Just defeat split hook rangers, 
until you find the one with the key. All right, uh, the Rangers are Storm. I think they have a bit more health than the Fire ones, or they might have less. I'm, I'm actually not that sure. I'm not positive, so I don't want to make any assumptions. All right. Yes, I was right. Okay. Uh, 620. Should, I shouldn't even have to put a blade on. They should just go down pretty easily. Let's hope. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. And I got the key. Uh, really quickly, uh, the... Uh, yard bird. I'm pretty sure it's over here. I got, um... Pretty sure? Okay, my pretty sureness is wrong. Okay, maybe it's over there. Or maybe it's over here. <laughs> okay, I'm... <laughs> like, I'm trying to remember where it is. Okay, it is over here. I knew it was somewhere around here, but I wasn't sure exactly where. Anyways. Alright, so we got that. That's the third one. We didn't get the second one yet, but because we haven't even explored the... Where the second one is yet. I'm pretty sure there's a boss in here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's check. Shattered just gonna crush off little cub. Break his bones. Take his gold. Okay, that was very aggressive. Okay, I'll I'll just blade. I'm gonna have to wait for another pip anyway, so might as well blade. And I actually do need it, so. Oops. I actually do need it, or else it won't kill, so. <laughs> it is for the best. Is this a ranger? Yeah. Alright, that should be fine. It'd kill the ranger regardless, but... I don't know if these guys use weakness. So far, I haven't seen. But then again, the battles haven't gone more than two rounds. So. I honestly wouldn't know. The battle music sounds like Dragon Spire's battle music. What's this? But like remixed Hagen a little bit. sent a child to come and rescue me? He should be ashamed. Still though, you defeated Shatter Tusk handily. You're no mere youth, I'll wager. You have my thanks. I can find my way out now that Shatter Tusk is dealt with. You'd best head on back to camp and speak to Hagen. Okay. Yeah, like I said, for boss fights and stuff, look at how little XP it actually gives. 240, that's nothing. Although, considering we're so close to leveling up, we might actually level up to 47, but that's uh, that's a whole different matter, I guess. Because once we're at 48, we're going to do the get the spell I've been waiting for. You rescued Einar, I gather. Good work. He'll tell others of your battle with Shatter Tusk. And your fame will spread. You're building a name for yourself. Becoming a hero our people will respect and admire. I'll teach you our ways, but there's a price to be paid. When you become one of our people, our enemies become your enemies. We fought the Grindles for as long as we can remember. They're an ancient evil race of terrible monsters. Some Grindles are small. We can fight them well enough. The most horrible of the Grindles are like avalanches. They must be avoided or endured. Easier to fight a mountain. Long ago, the Grindles invaded an old fort nearby named Drogarth. Now only spirits dwell there. But spirits have great wisdom. If you want to see our king, you should learn to fight the Grindles. Go and speak to the spirits there and learn of the Grindles. All right. Very well. I was one who fought the Grendels when they attacked this fort. First they attacked in daylight, and we fought them honorably. Then they crept over the walls in the night, and attacked as we slept. We fought bravely, but we were defeated. Now, this place is called Drogarth, the home of the dead. Oh, well that, uh, 
That's uh, down. It is said that the first mother of all the Grendels went to all things in the world and begged them to swear oaths to never harm her child. She went in disguise as a kind old woman, and because she seemed harmless, all things agreed not to harm her child. Only the Spider Queen said no to her request, because spiders are evil and harm is in their nature. Huh. In time, the old oaths were forgotten somewhat, but those first Grendels could not be harmed by any force, and they grew great and terrible. Now, the greatest and oldest Grendels fear only one thing in the whole of Grizzleheim. Spiders. Spiders. Go and speak to Sorin the Wise, and he will teach you to use that knowledge. Interesting. Interesting. So spiders are the only things the Grendels fear. I was blacksmith of this fort, and I fought alongside with the warriors, with weapons of my own making. My finest weapons were not enough. Our axes shattered, bent against the most powerful Grendel. We lost the battle. That will not happen again. I will show you how to make a weapon with the venom of spiders. A blade that will defeat the Grendels. Sauron the Wise teaches you the ancient arts of sword making, including some special techniques that will serve against the Grendels. Okay. Talk about wisdom. Got that right. Alright, we gotta go back to Hagen now. Did the spirits grant you the wisdom to fight the Grendels? You now know how to make a blade that will do harm to the most powerful of the Grendels. All great heroes need great weapons, and the best are those you forge yourself. It's time you had such a weapon. Go and speak to the blacksmith, Einar Thunderhammer. He will show you what to do. So, my rescuer returns. What can I do for you today? You know how to make a special blade to defeat Grendels? I can't wait to get started, but I'll need a lot of help. I'll show you how to forge your blade, but I can't do much without my forge tools. The split hooves took them from me when I was captured. After you rescued me, I looked around for them, but I couldn't find them. Could you go back to the split hoof camp and get my hammer and tongs from them? The one named Bloodseeker has them. Alright. Oh, nope. That's uh, Dragoth Fort. I need to go to Boar Camp. I like to, I like to go this way. And, uh... Go around this boss. I don't know if they changed it. If you can still do it. I'm pretty sure you can, though. Yeah. Okay. And then Bloodseeker's right up here, so... Uh, yeah, it should be good to just go, I guess. Alright, let's do it. Of course he goes first. Okay. Uh, 725. Yeah, I'll blade. Because why not? Might as well. Yeah, man, give uh, Mythblade to Storm Guy. You do that. Sounds good to me. This cave is kind of creepy. Heard that whisper in my right ear. Battle music is a lot slower as well. Or non existent here. Yeah, that totally is the Dragon Spire battle music. That's uncanny, holy. <clears throat> It's just like a remix of the Dragonspire one with a little touch of a Grizzleheim beat in it. I mean, it's interesting, but I feel like they could have made a separate one. That's just me, though. Alright. There we go. Got your tools. It's good to have my tools back. I felt like a part of me was missing. You have earned my gratitude once again. Now we're going to get started. This blade will be forged according to our ancient traditions and the new technique you learned in Draugarth. For the metal of the blade, we're going to need a lot of peat. Peat is a kind of rotten mud we use to make bog iron. To make the blade deadly against Grendels, we're going to need spider ichor. 
The easiest way to get some of that is to defeat some bog spiders. You should be able to find peat and bog spiders in the webwood. Alright. I don't think this quest is very hard. I just need to make sure that I'm able to kill the spiders in one or two turns. The peat is not that hard to collect otherwise. It's pretty... It's pretty, uh... It's around here quite a bit, so... We'll grab some of it while we're here. And, uh, uh, really quickly, let's go ahead and I'm going to grab the, uh, yard bird from here. I remembered where that one was. Alright, we got to defeat some spiders. Now, I think, uh, I think from what I remember, they like to have the webwood scudders instead of, uh, the other kind. Or maybe it's the other way around, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, so. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just try with the creepers. And we'll see. Because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the weirwood creepers that are the ones that uh, the quest likes. That'll be pretty quick to tell because I get the one turn victory. Especially against these guys and when I go first. Okay, yeah, they, uh, I guess that's fine. Cool. Okay. I did get a scudder, scuddler in here, so it's fine. Oh, wow, they have really low health. I'm kind of surprised. The ice blade? Nope, it's a tower shield. Of course it's a tower shield. Oy, oy, oy. Very well. I played myself. It happens. Yeah. Can I get a power pip? Nice. That'll do the trick. Should take care of the rest of the health. Or will. Wow. I almost thought it killed. There we go. Okay. That should have been the rest of the i core, so... Yep. That's, uh, that's a lot easier than I remember, to be honest. I remember uh, not collecting quite a bit when I ran through this place first time. Alright. Let's go back and talk to Thunderhammer. I'm actually getting pretty close to level 47. I checked out the level 45 gear. It's not better than the Mount Olympus gear, so. You've brought back some peat and spider icor, just like I asked. Now on to the next step. I'll begin burning the peat down to get the bits of iron out of it. It's a long and dull task, so I won't trouble you with it. What I need next is beyond my ability to retrieve. The stinger of the Spider Queen Scothi, mightiest of the spiders. Scothi lurks deep in a cave in the webwood. I can craft it into the metal of the blade along with the spider eye core, and that will make the blade a bane to the Grendels. I just hit my hand off my desk and that kind of hurt, so you probably heard that in my bed. Uh, actually, webwood is probably, that's probably close. To, oh, that is exactly where it is. Okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and defeat this spider. I don't like spiders myself, but you know, it's whatever. I can hear your little footsteps intrude into my web, and you shall pay the price. Nope, nope, that's creepy. That's just that's creepy. I. That's really creepy. I'm... No. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. That was creepy. Very well. Alright, we'll convert and then we'll just hit. 
no need to put a blade on unless I get weakness or something. Which is always possible, I guess. But nope, didn't. Scarab, man. I haven't seen that spell in a long time since uh, Croc, maybe? Um, that works too. Alright. Should be it. I don't see... Uh... Alright. Yep. There we go. Easy enough. Dandelion. I don't know if I'll... I don't know if I'll garden on this. Maybe just for, like, amber and stuff. Maybe I'll have an amber farm. But that's the only... Time I would ever farm on this character. Good work. It's in excellent shape as well. You're truly a skilled warrior. Let me get to work on the blade. Einar begins hammering on the rough ingot of metal, folding the stinger into it until they are united. He hands the sword to you. This is the finest weapon I have yet forged. You have your blade, but it needs to be blessed. Even with the spider stinger, it's still just a mortal blade. The blessing of the spirits will give your blade great power. And in this battle, you will need every advantage you can earn. Your blade must be thrice blessed, so you must seek the blessings of three spirits. In the woods by the boar camp is an old forest spirit called Iron Splinter. At this camp's waterfall, you can evoke a water spirit named Whisper Tide. Finally, you can summon a fire spirit called Storm Glare from the campfire outside. Very well. Alright. Let's go to the camp waterfall then. Outlander, I sense in your heart the intent to rid our land of the Grendels. They foul the waters and plague the land. I bless your blade with the grace of water. Go now and use it with great skill. Okay. Well, that's what I plan to do, so. Uh, Iron Splitter? Is that the... Oh, yeah, it is this one. It's over there, I guess. Okay. Very well. Let's go ahead... Is it a boss? I'm guessing it is a boss. I didn't realize there were so many quests. This video is going to be pretty long. <laughs> I thought it was going to be... A... A quick one, but I didn't realize just how many much quests there are in here. Yeesh. Who trespasses upon my domain? Couldn't I just talk to him? See if, uh, you know, maybe I just asked him nicely instead of uh, beating his face in first. I might get a bit better of a response. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Very well. Oh, look at that. Imp cast Imp. How cute. Alright. Let us... destroy... this lovely treant. Bro, a Meteor Strike would, like, burn him down. I don't even know, like... how he lives after this. Like, damn. You fought with honor, Outlander. I see that you are not one of the Grendels who spoil the land. Do I look like a Grendel? I sense you bear a blade of power. May to defeat them. My blessing of Oak is upon your blade. Wield it with great strength. Bro, did, does it look like I was a Grendel? Like, come on. You kidding me? Anyways, whatever. Thrice blessed blade. All right, campfire. Forged in fire. Whoa. This blade was made to be born against the Grendels. They act without honor, without pride, and should be defeated. Show me your sword that I might bless it with the flame of courage. Within the heat of battle, it will not fail you. Very well. I can sense the power that blade now holds. You've now a weapon fit for a hero, or even a king. Now that you've got your sword, there's little I can do for you. Take it to Hagen's shield breaker and he'll guide you to victory. 
Did Einar Thunderhammer help you make a blade suitable for a hero? You're well on your way to becoming a hero, but even the greatest hero must choose battles wisely. You don't want to be distracted in your fight with Skellig, the mightiest of these Grendels. Skellig and his Grendels have overrun another fort belonging to our people, a place called Drogarth. Go there and defeat a few of them. They'll be wary of you after that. Yeah, we already heard about Drogorth. I think uh, some dialogue mishap there. Regardless. Alright. Gotta defeat Urchins. Grendel Urchin. Interesting. It's a weird name. Hmm. Okay. Well, let us... Uh, I don't even need a boost for this one. I just kind of... Just the base damage should do. So, alright. Hopefully. Maybe I'm getting a little cocky. But I'm pretty sure we're fine. Yep. Okay. Now we gotta go to Grendel Darter, which are in the center, right? Yep. They're rank 4 elites as opposed to rank 3, so these guys probably have a lot more health. Or quite a bit, rather. So... How much? 620. Okay, yeah, that's, uh... That is, uh, a lot more than... I would have guessed. Okay. Especially for Storm, but I guess they are rank 4. Rank 4? Rank 4 elites, so... They would have quite a bit of health. Yeah, you go ahead and fizzle that. Fine by me. Gotta love not even getting hit. <laughs> All right. Easy enough. Okay. Ba -ba -bum. Let's go back to Hagen. This place taking me a lot longer than I thought it would, to be honest. That will teach the lesser Grendels to stay out of the way when you face their leader, Skellig. Now, there's no stopping you from confronting Skellig and driving the Grendel from Drogarth. Go to the fort now and see if you can find your way in. If the way is not clear, always remember that spirits contain great wisdom. Seek their counsel if you need it. Return here once you know how to enter the fort. Okay. So I... I think uh, you have to defeat another boss before you actually get in there, so... I assume I'm not going to be able to get in there. Let's make sure, though. The doors are sealed. You can tell that powerful magic is at work here. There must be a way through. Well, yeah, there always is, but it's finding it that's usually the difficult part. Those doors were sealed by a powerful Grendel shaman called Thulin. Only those bearing runic talismans may pass. To gain your own runic talisman, you must defeat Thulin and take it from him. Oh boy, okay. Let's go get his totem. I think he's to the right here. Yep. Let's not get caught though. I would not like that. Alright. Pretty cozy looking cave though. Rock just like perfectly arched. No way that it happened naturally, so. You've come a long way to find me, Outlander. A pity you'll never see your homeland again. Wow, okay. I mean, that's what you think, but I disagree. <laughs> this is the battle music. That's not, That could have sounded really cool. Oh, very well. Just gonna switch to the what sound the Dragon Spire one again. Storm Shield? Really? His natural attack is Storm when he's Myth? Really? Okay. Interesting. Musical notes. All right. 
It's definitely enough to kill. Okay. There's no way it doesn't kill. You find a runic talisman among Thulin's possessions. Alright, right. I have to report back to him. Okay. Want to load any quicker? Any slower, I mean? I don't know why, but it seems like my internet's being a little buggy today. But it uh, should be fine. I was hoping to finish uh, this place in less than 30 minutes, but that boat had s has sailed a while ago. That's how they kept our warriors out of the fort? A runic talisman? You're as clever as you are powerful. I could sing honeyed words of praise about you all day, but it is deeds, not words, my people will respect. Now is the time for you to bear your bane blade against Skellig, leader of these Grendels. Go to Draugarth and drive him from that once fair place. All right. Final boss. Here we go. Let's get it. I gotta go back and I gotta go in between episodes and do all the side quests as well, which I'll probably just do it for all of the world. Talisman has already opened the gates to Draugarth. I'll have to go ahead and do the side quests uh, in between episodes. I'll probably end up doing it for every single place, but we'll see. Foolish little hairless one. I cannot be defeated. What's that? A thrice blessed spider bane blade? Ah! That was actually some nice voice acting. I'll give him that. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, and there's the first history book for Crystalheim. It's so uh, quiet. There we go. <laughs> I was like, it's really quiet. I'm, a, I'm spooked a little bit. Alright. I know this guy can use weakness, but thank the lords he didn't. So we should be okay. Should be a-okay. Cool. Just in case it doesn't kill, I can use Fire Elf right after. But, uh, we'll, I mean, we'll see. So... But I think it's gonna do like 900. Yeah. Give or take a couple of damage. But yeah. There we go. Alright, let's read the story of Kona. Kooner? K Konar? Kona? I don't know. Konar the Young was Konar. moon wise beyond his years. Many secrets he knew of their use. Bygone runes and runes of the future. Their knowledge was Konar's to master. God, this angle! Oh my God, it's so good. Runes to blunt swords are to speak to birds. To quench burning brands are to quell crashing waves. Conor wrestled in rune lore with the rune sage Rhaegar, waxed in wisdom, and won the wager. Wealthy in victory's grace, Conor took the name Rhaegar and closed the ring himself. Bro, that angle was so nice. Okay, I have to give it to them there. That was that was pretty damn good. That angle looks so fresh. As soon as they added those, I knew it would make the game look so much be so just so much better. It's the little things that really matter. The little things just make it look so good in the overall picture. You did well. The whole valley echoed with the sounds of your battle. Now everyone will know you to be a great warrior. I've taught you all I can of our ways, and you've learned every lesson. I will speak highly of you to Bjorn when I see him next. For now, you can go and tell him we would be honored to have you in our band. Cool. I mean, it only took uh, 40, almost 45 minutes, but, you know. I guess in the grand scheme of things, that's not that long, so. Fishmaster. Crypt Keeper. Okay. Alright. Grandmaster Pyromancer. Alright. It is good to see you once more, 
You appear well enough. Hagen taught you well. The word of your deeds sped here like on the wind. Our people are impressed with tales of the glory an Outlander has won. But it is still too soon for you to see the king. Deeds grow in the telling. Your reputation is great, but not yet mighty enough. I sense that you are a great warrior in your homeland. Your own people must have need of heroes. You should return home for now, but remember, you are always welcome in Grizzleheim. If you wish to earn a heroic name in Grizzleheim, Outlander, fate has put you on the right path. A small village called Anders Halt is troubled by raiders whose ways are not known to us. Go there and learn what has happened, and offer what aid you can spare. Go and speak to Egil Axebearer, the guardian of Anders Holt. Okay, but I'm going to end this video off here. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that subscribe button down below. That much would be appreciated. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video of the Wizard Walkthrough. And peace out. Bye-bye.